Hey YouTube, how you doing? Renaissance man. What we're going to do is we're just going to show you the tune-up procedure for the Yesu FT-101B. Uh, or actually, you know, FT-101 series. Um, what we're going to do is uh, make sure that we have the heater switch on and let the tubes have a chance to um, get warmed up for a few minutes. Um, we're going to put the mode switch in the tune position. Um, the MOX PTT Vox should be set to PTT. Noise blanker should be off. RF attenuator should be off. Uh, that should be in the off position. Um, your RF gain should be all the way up. Speaker should be just so you can hear. Um, you want to go ahead and find the band. So you want to select the band that you're going to work. Um, keep the clarifier off. Mic gain and carrier should be fully counterclockwise. Your pre-select should be basically in the area of the 20 meter band that you picked down here. So if you're going to be in the 20 meter band, then have the pre-select kind of pointing in that area. Same is true if you switch this to 15, then you want to move that to 15. Okay? So we'll put it back towards 20, and we'll change that. Okay? Uh, plate control should also be pointing at the band that you're going to be working. And your loading control, you probably want to have it at around 4 or 5, just to get started. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to, uh, once, the, once the tubes have had a chance to warm up, we're just going to verify idle current. And by hitting the mock switch, we're going to look at the bottom scale, okay? And we're going to verify that it's 60 milliamps. Now, the bottom scale, as you can see, is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So, 0.1 is actually... 100 milliamps so you want to count three little tick marks and that's 60 okay so again verify 60 milliamps for idle current okay um, then what we're going to do is um, we're going to turn the pre-select for the best receive Okay, so there it is, best received. The other thing I'm going to do now is if you're using a manual tuner like I am, you'll see an inductance control. So what I do is I, I put the antenna and transmitter cap, you know, roughly about at 12 o'clock. And then I turn the inductance for maximum receive. So if we look at the meter, you can see the needle. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the inductance. You see it shoot right up to 7, and then it dropped off again. So I'm going to keep it at 7. That's maximum receive. Okay. So now, we're going to go in, and um, we're going to turn up the carrier. Let me, let me knock down the speaker. We're going to turn up the carrier to about halfway. And we're going to use the microphone. Okay, I just I think this is better because you you only you only want to tune up for about 10 seconds at a shot. All right. Now we're going to go to our meter and let me uh, let me raise up the camera a little bit. All right, we're going to go to our meter meter and we're going to see where we're where we're at right now. So again, 10 seconds is about all you need. Okay, so we're at half power, and we're only, you know, 20 watts, and you can see the SWR is a little high, so no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the meter, the power meter, and we're going to tune pre-select for maximum power reading on the meter. Okay, 
So we're going to hold the mic in for about 10 seconds, and then we're going to tune. Okay, so you can see it came up a little bit. And then we're going to go to loading. Okay, and then the plate. All right, now you can see it came up there quite a bit. So did our SWR, but that's okay. We're still not done. And then we're just going to check it one more time. Okay. Then we're going to tune for SWR. So at half power, we're going to get our SWR down by using the antenna tuner. So just watch the meter up there. Antenna, transmitter, antenna, transmitter. Okay, so if you watch it now, at, you know, basically half the carrier, we have almost, you know, a perfect one-to-one -one match. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run the power all the way up, and we're going to check... And we're going to do pre-select, loading, and plate again. Okay, no more than 10 seconds. Okay, so we've got maximum power there, and then we're just going to have to tweak our tuner a little bit. So we're going to start with the transmitter, bring it down, antenna, bring it down. Okay, so we're transmitting at maximum power which is almost 200 watts and nothing going out as far as SWR. SWR is still one-to-one. -one. Now at this point um, we're going to go ahead and put the mic gain at about yeah, about four or five and we're going to change over to upper sideband and now we're going to check to see we have good swing. Two two okay and that's how you tune the radio um also big biggest thing if you're going to operate on am okay most important we're going to change it to am you're going to take this carrier and bring it to about here okay we're going to look at the meter and keep that Right around there okay the reason that is is because that right there is about 25 30 watts on AM there's another 40 watts on either side of that center carrier so if you key up with a you know 30 watt carrier and you talk you're actually putting out 120 watts so you never want to run any more than 25, 30 watts of carrier on AM. Very important. Um, if, you, if you run that too high, you will trash the tubes. Also, um, you can probably you know, run your mic gain maybe at six or something like that and just keep an eye on your meter and make sure that you're not you know, going past 200 milliamps. Um, but that's basically the tune-up procedure for the FT-101. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them, and I'll uh, do the best I can to answer your questions. So um, this is Renaissance Man. Thanks a lot for watching.
and I'll catch you later.